obviously reasons, or you're just lying to stupid people that will believe anything and Fox <laughs> Noise goes along. And that's true. I mean, are you kidding? He's bragging that his dad was able to get a meeting. They want to be put on the same level and taken as legitimate leaders, and Trump gave it to him and has gotten nothing in return. According to... Um, uh, Media Matters, Trump averaged nearly 5.9 false or misleading claims in a day in his first year of office, and he's now up to 16 and a half lies a day his second year. So in 2019, he's averaging 22 claims a day of uh, Well, people are rewarding his bad behavior. He lies and his crowd applauds, so he thinks this is great and he lies more. When is enough enough? I just can't with my daughter created millions of jobs to a gathering of governors. I don't know if anyone knows that, but she's created millions of jobs. So I tweet back. <laughs> I call BS. Show us the proof. Man, average person, that's a belly laugh. And then people started commenting, yeah, jobs in China, jobs in sweatshops. <laughs> that's where she created the jobs. Oh, my God. Then, before the, the Michael Cohen testimony, this Matt Getz, this representative from Florida, how embarrassing he represents Florida, which, by the way, Trump's rating, rating uh, approval rating is way down in Florida, says, hey, my, Michael Cohen, does your wife and father-in-law know about your girlfriends? Maybe tonight would be a time for a chat. I wonder if she'll remain faithful when you're in prison. She's about to learn a lot. So basically tampering with and threatening and extorting a witness, okay? And so, of course, I had to tweet back to him. What are you afraid of, Matt? And why do you think witness intimidation is okay? Go have another drink. Now, that's something you know a lot about because apparently he's had a lot of DUIs. Let's put you under the oath and witness for witness threatening and ask about your reported DUIs. You sound like a thug, not a member of Congress. What a shame. And that's true. Then I had to tweet out. Shame on every single Republican that doesn't want to know the truth about Trump, Russia, any crimes or obstruction. You, you should all want to know the truth about your president and if he is compromised. Put your country first. Your love for power and your ego should not replace your duties. So apparently the Facebook is down, but the podcast is still yes, going. It's, it's, oh, okay. it's the internet. It's the okay, internet. Okay, well, it's the but internet. We, we doing Whatever. Good. We're the still podcast going. is still perfect. We are pretending nothing ever happened. Now, <laughs> Alex Baldwin says that he's been threatened by Trump. He's worried about his security because of Saturday Night Live. And um, the Washington Post says that that, that we need to uh, provide an independent platform for journalists and writers after what happened to Khashoggi, where Trump again took, took his uh, word over, uh, the dictator's word over the intelligence agencies. Oh my God, I just can't. So now Michael Cohen um, goes in his opening statement. Oh my God, I just can't believe it. He goes, I'm ashamed because I know what Mr. Trump is. He's a racist, he's a con man, and he's a cheat. Oh, I know. Now they're saying that because he lied to Congress that he has no credibility. Well, he lied to Congress to protect Trump. <laughs> so, you, you know, this is the craziest thing. The, Comey try, did what he did to, trip, to protect Trump and Trump fired him. All these people that come and fall on their sword for Trump wind up getting kicked out to the curb. Hello. When are they going to learn? I loved what that senator from Kentucky said when he was trying to like nail him on uh, how bad, you know, he's like, Trump did this and did this, this. You're saying he did this. So what does that make you? And he was like, a fool. Yeah, a fool. <laughs> a fool. A man who spent a decade at the right hand of the current president of the United States is now saying on the record that the man is a racist, a comment, and a cheat. We've grown used to the abnormal in Trump's White House, but even by that standard, wow. And then uh, he, he was a presidential candidate who knew that Roger Stone was talking with Julian Assange, according to the Times. So apparently, according to Cohen, Trump knew that the WikiLeaks thing was going on that he uh, gave a uh, Cohen submitted check and now the lawyer submitted a second check showing that Trump knew all about the money paid to the film stars. He, he showed a check for 35000 signed by Donald Trump. And then the lawyer just put up 170000 signed by the Trump Foundation or one that. of those companies. Trump did not directly tell me to lie to Congress. That's not how he operates. So what Cohen says that he will do is he knows how to send these signals like there's nothing going on in Russia, is there? 
and shake his head no. And they're like, no, there's nothing going on in Russia. And then three minutes later, hey, how's that Russia Moscow project going? Oh my God. <laughs> that's he how coaxed, the mob yeah, operates. Yeah, he coaxes and tells him what to say when they're there. Yeah, that's what he does with Twitter. He's tweeting out his messaging and then all these people follow. Oh, yeah. it's a witch hunt. And then everybody says it's a oh. witch hunt. He, he guides them down this trail of lies and deceit because that's the message that they know he wants to put out there. So that's how he does it. He doesn't say go lie to Congress. He goes, we didn't have anything to do with that, did we? <laughs> well, you know that we know that that's not true, isn't it? And oh then he goes and God. convinces them to lie. And if you notice his Twitter feed, he does the same thing. It's a witch Twist. hunt. Crooked Hillary. He's giving them the talking points and these little lamb just running up to the slaughter. Trump wouldn't even have lunch with most of the people at his rallies. I can oh, tell you that you right me? now. Oh, oh my God. Now, apparently this BuzzFeed uh, article for about the dossier is coming back into play. And so far, they've not disproven one thing in the dossier. And, you know, Roy's representing BuzzFeed. And Roy said he went over and met with the, what's his name, uh, Christopher Steele. And that, you know, so far, what's, what's come out of the dossier that's been proven not to be true? Nothing. So there's going to be some, a lot going on about that. Um, bring on the pee and hookers. <laughs> yeah, bring on the pee and hookers. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't know if the pee and hooker story is true or not, but no one's disproved it. Let's put it that way. And you know they're tape recording him over there, everything he does, and trying to get, get stuff on him they can use to hold against him. So that's the way the Russians work over there. Uh, he also said that uh, there were a half a dozen times between the Iowa's caucus in January and the end of the June that he would ask, how is the Russia Moscow Tower project coming? So while he was lying to the audience, well, then we don't have any contacts in Russians. Are there any Russians in the audience? We don't even know any Russians. Do we know any Russians? He's over there <laughs> negotiating for a, to a Moscow to uh, Tower oh that has God. to be approved by Cohen. So he's got... His agenda is to get that tower and to make money off of Russia, not to protect America's interests. He lied about it and he, because he stood to make hundreds of millions of dollars. And apparently, Michael Cohen's got all the receipts, uh, the um, emails that went to Jared and Ivanka. So they were all three in on it. And Trump, of course, knew about it. But, you know, Trump doesn't email or text. <laughs> doesn't, is that a red flag <laughs> when you never put anything in writing? That in and of itself is a red flag to me. That's I mean, scary. come on, everybody text. I mean, Freda even text. Uh, Trump would often say this campaign is going to be the greatest infomercial in political history because Trump never planned on winning. He was just using it to promote his business and was shocked when he won, according to uh, Cohen. Mr. Stone told Trump that he had just gotten off the phone with Julian Assange and that Assange had told Mr. Stone that within a couple of days there would be massive email dumps that would uh, damage Hillary Clinton's campaign, campaign, and Trump responded by stating to the effect, wouldn't that be great? Now, remember, he said he didn't know anything about WikiLeaks. Well, let's just see what happens if Roger Stone gets thrown in jail for violating his gag uh, order yeah. again and when, when he'll, how fast he starts he singing. He just starts squawking. And then he once told Michael Cohen, <clears throat> he asked me if I could name a country run by a black person that wasn't a shithole. And that was when Barack Obama was president of the United States. He told me that black people would never vote for him because they were too stupid. He asked me to pay off the adult film star. He brought the checks for that. He declared himself brilliant, but directed me to threaten his high school and his colleges and the college board to never release his SAT grades or his scores or his grades. Now, the, uh, so he goes out and starts demanding that, um, and if you notice, they showed clips today. Several times he demands Obama prove that he was in Harvard, prove what his grades were, prove he was in the yes. law review, prove all this. Well, a week later, he's got Michael Cohen writing threatening letters to every school he ever went to, telling them that, that they and nod, they'll sue, this and that, never to release his grades or scores or anything. Apparently, according to some of the people, he was a very average student, not a bad student, but not a good student. He was never on the dean's list or anything like that. And remember, he, he acted like he was at the top of his That's class and all that was a lie. And apparently, he had a lot of disciplinary notes in the file when he was at the academy. <laughs> None of that surprises me Shocker. either. And then they ask if, um, let's see, what else? Let's see. <laughs> Um, anyway, then there's some talk about if Trump is offering pardons to different people. So let's see if all that comes out. Right now, um, 
that ter homegrown tour to, uh, terrorist that was in the Coast Guard had a hit list. He, he had collected all these guns and ammunitions, and guess who was on the hit list? All the people that Trump says are the enemy of the state. The press, the enemy of state. Chris Hayes, Don Lemon, Chris Como, Nancy Pelosi, Kamala Harris, Harris, Co uh, Cory Booker, Beto O'Rourke, Maxine Waters, Elizabeth Warren, and Sir Senator Blumenthal. So, in other words, Trump's telling the whole world these people are dangerous, or they're the enemy of the state, or they're the lying press. And so this crazy guy goes out and gets a bunch of guns, and they find this hit list in his pile of people he's planning on shooting and killing. And then Trump never even apologizes for it. In fact, never brings it up. But boy, he brings up anything else that try to make him look good. Uh, People are commenting, God. saying, uh, Marcella Bernardi says, good, you're back. Donna Dorenzo <laughs> says, so happy you told that congressman off. What an asshole. Uh, Jay Wynn <laughs> says, that's right, he did say fool. And he says he remembers when Trump said that he would uh, get lots of letters from people in the U.K., but the U.K. can't stand Trump. No, they can't stand him. Yep. There was a clip out yesterday of parades all over the country where they're mocking him. They've got him in a diaper, and they've got him with a diaper rash, and they've got him with the <laughs> sucking on a bottle. Parades all over the world where they do that so i find that funny anyway and then you know there's this problem i'll go into that later uh we can talk oh i'll just bring this up and then we'll stop okay Ex executive branch criminal activities by presidential administrations trump was in trump's two years in office he's at 89 indictments, 24 convictions, and two prison sentences. Oh Obama, in eight years in office, had no criminal <laughs> indictments, no criminal convictions, and no, criminal sen no prison sentences. Bush, um, W, had eight years in office, 16 indictments, and 16 conv convictions, and nine sentences. Clinton, in eight years, had two indictments, one conviction, and one sentence. Bush, uh, the older Bush had four years in office, had one criminal indictment, one criminal conviction, and one prison sentence. Reagan had a lot. Carter had hardly none. Mm -hmm. Ford had a few, and Nixon had a, a Nixon uh, and Nixon and Trump are pretty almost going to be tied soon. That's so the, <laughs> you know, so the interesting thing about that is the corruption always seems to follow. The Republicans, look at this. Trump's had 89 criminal indictments. Nixon had 76. Bush W. had 16. Reagan had 26. Obama, none. Clinton, two. Bush, one. Uh, the older Bush. And Carter, one. And Ford, one. It's the Republicans that are corrupt. And why people won't just acknowledge that is beyond me. <laughs> that's, what, right. that's what yeah, your fans well, are saying. Yeah, they're yeah. corrupt. There are there, uh, comments are. coming in saying, I don't under, Jay, or Joy Welmer says, I don't understand... Um, how so many can blindly follow Trump with all the evidence right there. Um, Noah Crowart says Trump is the enemy of the state. He is. Don Tannis says Cohen did so much dirty work for Trump. Not sure why he would ever, uh, ever thought he would be loyal to him. Unsure who has anyone well, is he, loyal to Trump. That's the problem. Trump is one way loyal. Mm -hmm. You have to be loyal to me, but the minute you don't, don't do what I say or what I want, I'm going to kick you to the curb and not, I'm never going to be loyal to you. I don't understand he's, anybody he's, that doesn't see he's that. A, he's a different type of predator. Is really yeah, what it is. He, he is. grooms people a certain yeah. way, so yeah. you follow them, and you're loyal. The same thing with yeah. like sexual predators do. It's the same thing. Um, Deb Smith says she really wishes you would stay on no longer. longer. <laughs> see, we're having a big debate because what happens is after about 30 minutes, a lot of people tune out, and I think it's not because of the content. I think it's because you're in driving and in 30 minutes you're on the up. podcast. So what you have to do on the podcast is put pause when you stop and That's pick it back point. up again and get the end of it because I don't like these drop-offs at 30 minutes good otherwise it's going to have to do two different podcasts just stay on hit pause and when you get back in the car hit it again or when you're at home putting on your makeup hit it again don't just not hear the second half of the show I mean after all we've got to build these ratings we need sponsors we've got to get on we've got to get it going over here share the show help. share the show share the show <laughs> all right so we had fun do we have fun little black Oh, good, little good black, day. come to your Sorry mom. about the internet issues, everyone. I know the podcast didn't get interrupted, but the web series got all messed up. So. Well, it wasn't our fault. It was no, the internet fault. We'll, we'll blame you. Listen, we've done like 80-some uh, shows now, and that's the first, second one we've ever had an internet issue. Yeah, but with. it was the internet problem, not us. We yeah, don't run the, the internet. internet. Yep. Ah. 
Okay, guys, we had fun. Ch tune in. Ch please share this. Please listen all the way through. Put pause midway through and listen to the second half. Send all your comments uh, and anything you wanted to hello at leahblack.com. Don't forget about this new eye cream. And you're not going to be able to get it. It's going to be out before we get it in. I'm telling you, the orders are coming in. Hello at leahblack.com. We're going to give you an introductory offer on it. And it lasts about four to six months. So you're going to love it. Mwah, CBD eye cream. Bye.